After a loved one has passed, it's hard to think about moving on, let alone dating again. But in time, it is possible to love again in a committed relationship that honors both your current and past relationship. Relationship expert Dr. T. Charles Brantley joins me here today. Is it possible to move on, TC? It is very difficult. Uh, not only am I a counselor, I'm also a pastor of a church. And so I, I see both sides of trying to grieve at the same time. Should I live? Should I go for it? And a statistic says that if, uh, if the husband goes first, First, usually within two years, the wife goes if she doesn't want to live and move on. Really? Yes. You just can't live with each other, without can't, each other? Can't live without each other. And, and again, that's nice, but again, um, I know this personally because my father passed away five years ago, and my mother, she wanted to, to die, and I said, you are not going to die on me. I can't lose both of you uh, so quickly. So it's a very true thing. Sure. And uh, before you can move on, though, you have to grieve properly. You have to grieve properly. You have to understand it did happen. You have to take your time to kind of regroup yourself and get used to a lonely house, not having that spouse there. And there must be a guilt factor that goes along There's with it. There's a guilt factor that goes with it. Uh, I'm thinking about love again. I'm thinking about moving on again. And sometimes even grown kids will put the uh, stiff arm on you. But that's why you have to say, listen here, I, if you don't let mommy or daddy grieve, you're going to be this punchy critter. And I'm going to be all <laughs> nice and not pretty and uh, annoyed. So help me to move on and not stay in that place. Now, do you find that men are able to move on after loss? Like yes, this? for some reason. I know why. Uh, men are able to move on because, again, there's a vestment that women just have more than men. And uh, men, uh, we have something called uh, libido, and it doesn't go away no time soon. Yes. I'm not. <laughs> All right, TC. <laughs> Another tip here you say take a vacation. Take a vacation to clear your head. Uh, find out what you really want to do. Do you want to stay single the rest of your life or do you want to get back in the dating scene? And don't do it because of you being pushed, my friends. Know something I want to have because the number one thing people want to have as they go older, I don't want to be alone. Yeah. And so if you don't want to be alone, then you have to make that decision to really do the proper stuff it needs to make sure that you're not alone in and, any life. Uh, you say do a background check. What are we oh, checking out? Yes. What are we when doing? The, when you start dating again, you want to <laughs> make sure uh, the guy's not a serial killer uh, or the helps. woman's not a black widow. Okay, you want to do Background checks on them. All right, take your time. It doesn't have take to be rushed. Take your sweet time. And when you take your time, then you're going to be able to take, amen, the smallest things and just punch every hole that needs to be checked out to make sure you're <laughs> plugging and make sure this person is who they say they are. All right, um, don't be desperate. Don't be desperate. You know how many people? Uh, well, well, you know what? Uh, he's not the one. She's not the one. But uh, don't be because don't your settle. body. You don't will, need to settle. Don't don't settle because if you didn't settle in the uh, in the beginning of your first marriage, don't settle now. And you say it's it's okay to ask your children for help. Here. It's okay to ask good children. Not now <laughs> now you got some greedy children. Now mom and dad, you know you can't do nothing now because we have a nice fortune here. Those are selfish kids who are thinking about themselves and not you. I didn't even think of that factor. Oh people yes. bring that up. Oh no, they bring oh, pe listen, when you it comes to money, people become funny. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> you think they would want their parent to be happy. No, 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 no. They're thinking about well, what mommy going to because if someone else comes to mommy and daddy's life, that's less money on the table. For me, All right. very selfish. Uh, married, you mentioned this. Marry someone because you love them, not just because you're lonely. Right, Don't, right. Because if you do that, you get in trouble. That's why I have this whole big old thing of honey. <laughs> you see this, and it's very important because a lot of times in the first marriage, there might be some bitterness, there might be some pain there. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you apply the honey to your life so that, again, with the next relationship, you don't suffer the same problem that you did before. And you say, get the mojo working again. Oh, get the mojo. After, <laughs> after marriage, though. Get the mojo working again. Discover things because maybe your first husband, your first wife, oh, a little lethargic and not as interested. So get it all back. Yeah. Now, TC, I know you have a new book coming out as well. Tell us about that. Brand new book called Crucified Husband, Glorified Husband. It is the premise to my private practice that men have to suffer. Men have to dedicate all to their wives, and when you dedicate all, then you get back uh, from your wife as well. And now, one last question: You can't really put a time frame on this, really. Everyone grieves at different. Everyone different grieves times. differently. The bottom line: find your pace, and this is very important because a lot of people want to sprint. Mm -hmm. It's a marathon. It's a nice, slow marathon to get to the end. All right, TC, we're out of time. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me again. And of course, if you'd like to find more information on Dr. T. Charles Brantley, log on to our website right at wtnh.com. Coming up next on Connecticut Style, we have a whole lot more going on. Stay with us. We'll be right back.